So hi, my name is Kevin Power and I'm giving a little introduction to the ballet paintings. It's an exhibition I have on at the moment at Susan Biederberg's Gallery in the Jordan. We're here in the space and I'm going to talk about um, the work here and why I made this and what it's all about. I just point to you here, this the work behind me, it's called The Embrace. Um, the ballet paintings, the, the ballet paintings were made to refer to from the neighborhood where my studio is situated. My studio is situated in the pipe. And on the right hand side, I have the um, Theosophical Society Library, which was built in 1926. And on the other side, I have the Dockrad, which is a social housing complex, 1922, 1923. And I wanted to take the ideas, the historical ideas that were happening at the pipe and how it was constructed into social living and the philosophical ideas about spirituality and how we were related to one another. Um, <clears> that <throat> became very fascinating for me and I just wanted to understand what were these people thinking about and how I could best translate these ideas into um, a wearable sculpture. The idea being uh, to go on a procession around the neighbourhood to celebrate our history, which was like approximately 100 years ago and also just in awe of where people were 100 years ago, but thinking too, um, electricity, a light bulb, was already new. <laughs> it was already such a revolution that was also happening at the time. They had just um, introduced or made flushing toilets compulsory. So their living conditions were so different 100 years ago and where we are today. I just wanted to um, work on that idea. So, and this particular piece behind me here, which is called The Embrace. Um, the, the Embrace, part of the theosophical idea, one of their central ideas was that the, everything there's a divine intelligence operating behind the universe. There's a divine spark. The universe itself is intelligent. So I wanted to bring this out here. And in the, the dark ride of social housing complex with a socialist idea, there's everything is it's horizontal thinking, which I find is also um, a very nice Dutch way of uh, integrating society. Everybody's on the same level. There's no, the hierarchy is not, it's frowned on. So I wanted to do with the painting. I have lots of brought lots of strong horizons. That's what we're doing here. And the colours, um, a lot of the colours have to refer to the brickwork that was used at the time. Some of the bricks are burnt and baked at different temperatures, and they've got a different colour. And then the central piece that's um, holding it together, the spinal cord or the spinal bone, or whatever you call that, backbone. Um, that's a sort of a, a union, a, um, a, a double rainbow to connect the man spirit with the sky spirit, which was this sort of universal spirit, part of the theosophical idea. Um, and I, I, I was making, this can be fit on your back, where the arms are outstretched like this. This would fit on your back so that you could wear it. That was the way it was conceived when I was making this painting. And if you're imagining, when I was making this painting, I was imagining, okay, where is the head? I've got, where am I going to find the head? How am I going to locate the head? I'm painting in a 3D. So that's why I had this sort of, um, the head can be anywhere in this position, it can be bowing down. So I have this, this form here and where the arms are coming out, how that links back to our body, our, our arms. But it also could be lungs, where we breathe. You know, and um, that's why this, this is another motif that reoccurs in all of the, the paintings that I've done. It can be lungs, it can be breathing, but also it's, uh, it's sex, it's life itself, it's um, how we connect with one another. That's also very, very important for me in making, this, uh, making these works. There you go. <laughs> this is uh, the, the embrace, sort of a heaven and earth connection with one another.